A generator left running in an ambulance is apparently to blame for the death of an EMT in East Texas. On Friday, co-workers discovered the body of 33-year-old Casey Steenlin. She was unresponsive about 7 a.m. during a shift change. A hospital spokesperson says Steenlin had been overcome by carbon monoxide while on duty. As soon as I walked in, I, I knew something wasn't right with the, with the air inside. And that's when we decided to, to go in and start trying to wake people up. The hospital says two others were rescued and are in good condition. One EMT who was part of the rescue was treated and released. The hardest environment in life that you will ever face is having to take care of one of your friends or one of your co-workers that you work with on an everyday basis. Officials say the building didn't have carbon monoxide detectors because it was all electric. You look at paramedics and EMS, they're the ones that help you. And to be there helping them, it's a, it's a shocker to you. Steenlin was in training. She was a married mother of four. Ross Simpson, The Associated Press.